This is Donish from jobskillshare.org. In this video, I will show you how to install your vSphere Hypervisor 6.5 onto a USB. So, very small USB, 2 GB. You need to go into the VMware site, login, go to the download for this one specifically, and you'll click on download. You'll click the download ISO, which is this file right here. And all you have to do is to plug in this USB into your computer. Make sure this USB will be formatted. You will lose any data that is in this USB. So I plugged in my USB. Now what you need to do, you need to go to this link. This one that I'm gonna put in a description, Rufus, Rufus, whatever you wanna call it. All you have to do is to go down and click on download. And once you click on download, you will run this application. And we need to open it now. Click on yes. Once you do that, you need to come over here, make sure the first selection is picked. You need to go to the ISO that you just downloaded. You need to click on that. So let's say this is the one and you'll click open and then you will start. You'll get some messages that this will format, whatever, whatever. You click on yes, yes and finish it. It will get ready. Once it's done, you will have the USB. Take it out of that com uh, computer and plug it into the server that you want to make a uh, vSphere so now we need to start the server this is my beautiful monitor that is have this new nice arts going on so my USB is plugged in I just started my server and I need to boot it from that USB in Dell you need to click F12 as you can see F12 boot menu right there it is booting from that it will boot from that USB so we'll continue the setup so now we need to click on USB device so you'll get this screen, uh, 6.5 installer, you want to click on next, on the top one, so it will start the whole installing process. So it's booting from that USB right now. This machine will lose any data that you have, so make sure you're not playing with a real machine, so uh, that is like something you have a data on that server, so you need to take it out uh, or else you'll lose everything. So. I'm just waiting for it to finish this loading process all right that's a good screen to watch so that means everything is working good you see the Dell uh, workstation T7400 16 GB two processors all right so you'll get to this screen and then what we need to do is to click on enter to continue you will need to accept the license F11 and now it's going to scan some other things. Let me change this right there. All right, then it will ask you to where do you want to install this? Um, of course, you wanted to get it on the 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 one that is our hard drive. We're going to click on Enter, gathering information. So, like I said, if there was any partitions or something or data, it will get formatted. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna click OK. Uh, F11 and now it's installing um, the whole system so you're gonna get this message to administer your navigate to the server host name IP address or blah 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 so what we're gonna do is reboot and then you will see the um, uh, the IP address once you reboot this Good idea would be to remove any media like you know USB that you plugged in so make sure you remove that and let the server restart after that. So after booting this will start like this. So here it is our IP address DHCP you can change this by going to F2 that's up to you guys I mean of course in a production environment you are going to be working a lot on F2 and trying to do things so it will ask you to do the username and password so let me just quickly do that because we're not going to mess around with this we just want to install it and you can change things from here F2 again and you can see right here you can configure the, the net management for network uh, restart management for network, test network, and system logs, and everything you can uh, think of. So let's go back, and this is what we need now to access this server. So I'm on a different machine. I know I can. Uh, I have the same. I have the right IP address because I can access in the same network. 
So what you need to do is to type HTTP, HTTP, and right there it's the IP address. So I already did that. You're going to get the security prompt. You can click on advance and continue to that and you will see this screen. Now if I type the password, uh, root, and then uh, the password that I gave while I was doing the installation, I should be able to access this server from here. There you go. Now I have a beautiful um, interface in front of me. I'm just going to click OK. So you're right now all the information of that server is in front of you. Um, I can change things in here. I can add storage in here. I can play around. I can do labs. Just in case you don't know about virtualization, I mean, I have done so many videos. You should watch my other courses. You should go to jobsclashare.org, take the help desk course. There is a basic virtualization module. I explained everything. But let's say you don't know anything. You're just first time watching this. I just made that server. That server, I, I installed this VMware. They call it VMware vSphere. So don't even worry about that right now. Just in simple words, I installed that. So now anything in that server, the storage, the RAM, everything, I can access it from a different um, computer. And I can install many, many other small servers, uh, operating systems, anything that, I, that can be installable, I can put it on that as long as it can afford it. I mean, it's, it needs to have resources to run this. So, in, in other words, you have a box and you're putting small operating systems so other people can access it and applications and everything. So, you're making a use out of that box. If you don't do that, if you install one operating system on top of the server and there's no virtualization, anything like that, you're only using that operating system and the ability, whatever uh, it can offer you. So this is why virtualization is so powerful that it changed that old um, uh, hardware and you can uh, you know, update it a little bit and you can uh, take a maximum benefit out of it. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys in a different video.